it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is all about how to handle negativity, and don't take it personal. So I was working with this bride and groom that I was loving the planning process with, and then I met both sides of their parents. I quickly learned that they were all successful entrepreneurs, with the mother of the groom being the most successful out of the sets of parents. So they became involved in the planning and who was spending what money. And instead of me having fun planning with the bride and groom, I quickly became the mediator between the parents and who was spending what and where it was being spent. Now, I always try to educate my clients, but I also try to make sure that whatever the bride and groom want is actually what happens. They're the ones getting married, even if the parents are paying for it. Sometimes there's compromise, but this was really turning into being the groom's mother's wedding. And so finally towards the end, there were knockdown drag out fights over the linens and the flowers and what was going on the table. I'm like, gosh, this is not worth it. Finally, the bride and groom just threw their hands up in there and the, and the groom said, whatever my mom wants, that's what we're gonna do because it just, it just wasn't worth it anymore. There was about 800 people coming to this wedding, so about the whole town where this wedding was gonna happen, all of these guests were coming. And I think people kind of knew it that the mother of the groom wanted it her way. So I pretty much just bit my tongue to finish out the planning process because we all have them, right? We all have those clients where you grit your teeth and you're counting down the days and you can't get to the finish line fast enough, but there is a light at the end of the tunnel. That's the best thing about planning weddings. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And again, it wasn't the bride and groom, they were awesome. So the wedding night, the mother literally took me by the t-shirt, walked me around and pointed out everything she hated and everything that I did wrong and all of these things that she didn't like. Well, some of those things were things that the bride and groom wanted in the way that we set the menu cards, the napkin folds, things that we had already discussed, but I didn't go back and ask her opinion on it because the bride had already made a decision. So thankfully, having a background in mental health and working with people and knowing true control freaks, I said, I'm so sorry you're not happy, but I hope the bride and the groom love everything that they have and you've helped throw a beautiful wedding. And really it's about the two people being in love. It's not about what the napkin folds look like. It's not about what the menu cards are. Everybody's gonna forget these things. What's truly important at the end of the day is your son has an amazing new wife and that's what we should really focus on and be happy for. So I always try to pull a negative situation back into a positive. And again, don't take things personal. I walked away that night and I slept just fine. So just remember, don't take it personal. Take a deep breath, bite your tongue, and just get through it. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment. And if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.